to your go-to page as uh, as you process the orders. So now we're moving to the stores. So I know you're saying Mo he has multiple chains of things of that sort. Mm -hmm. So let's say he has one in Hillside Village and then he has one in California. If he wants to add a new store, he can easily add a new store by clicking the Add a New Store button. Or if he want to edit the store, okay. It was recently in Hillside Village, but now his establishment has moved to a Mesquite, Mesquite Texas. He can edit that and change that sort. So, I just want to go through and figure out how it's going to look like. So, if you want to add a new store, of course, you have your store in the group. Uh, store description, like uh, pizzeria and tea store, department, whatever it is. Uh, then you put the logo, of course. And then you put the price of delivery time. We normally say about 30, 30 minutes, 30 to 35 minutes uh, from the time it's prepared to the time it's going to be delivered to the customer. Uh, the approximate price for two. Uh, most people, whenever they order, I'm pretty sure you know that they'll cater for two people, sometimes it's single. Of course, the address. So that's pretty much how you add a new store. Okay. Now just notice, because you do add a new store, that doesn't mean that it's automatically going to be approved and be placed into the CP Delivers app. It has to be approved by CP Delivers first, and then you receive your tablet, and then it's placed into the app. So you can add as many stores as you want to, but it's not going to be on there, it's going to be approved. And then you have the items and menus. So the items and menus lets you add uh, however many items that you want to add to whatever store that you want to add it to. The add-on category, this is for, let's say, you have a burger, uh, let's say you have a pizza combo. It comes with drink, uh, what's, what's the little, salad? Yeah, salad yeah. and slice of pizza. Okay, so slice of pizza, salad, and drink. What you're going to put is, let's put drink on the side. You can do a single selection because it only comes with one drink. Now, if you have a combo that comes with multiple selection, you can add multiple drinks. Single selection, and then I just put short description, side drinks. You add that add-on, and now, now stay focused here because the add-on categories and the add-ons, I don't want you to be confused. So this is the add-on category. And this is the add-on. So mm -hmm. when you go to this item the menu and you want to add just a specific add-on, small coat. And then you can set your price for it. Mm -hmm. A dollar. Mm -hmm. And then you want to add a large coat. Mm -hmm. You know, things of that sort. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference between the add-on categories and the add-on. The add-on category is mainly the, the category of, the, of whatever the add-on you're going to do. Correct. Yes. Correct. And then the add-ons is just specific. Mm -hmm. The menu category is like whenever you whenever the customer is scrolling down uh, the CP Delivers app and they're shopping on your website or, or they're shopping under your store, they're gonna have menu categories: pizza. Uh, what's another item that you call? Salads, pastas, salads, appetizers. Exactly, exactly. So that's the menu categories, and then the items go under the menu categories. So you, the add-ons go under the add-on categories for the sides. The items go under the menu categories for the main list. And if you want to add those, of course, you just click add and 